I have got many questions regarding the preparation strategy for UGC NET exam as well as uh, in comment box and in my Instagram account also in messages right like how to prepare for UGC NET exam how much time we should devote can we crack the exam without coaching means uh, only with self study or in a day how many hours we should study to crack UGC NET exam right so I'm going to answer these questions in this video like how to prepare for UGC NET exam this is specifically for computer science students so yes you can crack NET exam with self study only without any coaching right now in a day how many hours you should study or uh, to crack this exam see it depends how many uh, you know months you have to prepare like if you have suppose only two months or one month or if you have five to six months it depends on that time right i am just going to tell you how to prepare for ugc net net exam according to that you can decide like how much time you have to devote to prepare each day to prepare for this exam because there are categories of people who are preparing for net exam first is what maybe you are doing your post graduation right in final year of your post graduation or you have just recently done your post graduation or maybe you are in job maybe in teaching job or in some other job right or maybe you are a dropout you haven't touched these subjects computer science subjects maybe for, for since last two three years or five years and now we are going to prepare so according to that you have to take time like suppose if you are in your post graduation you are still studying in that case obviously you have gone through all the subjects you are still studying so you will take less time to prepare right or in case if you are in teaching job in that case also you are you will take less time to prepare for this exam because you are already teaching those subjects you have the experience right if you have drop out you haven't touched the subjects since uh, you know last two three years five years in that case obviously you need more time so according to that you have to decide how much time you require it's not like that generally i, I would say eight hours or three hours or one month time two months time or six months time or one year time generally i can't say this thing it depends on person to person actually but obviously you are appearing for this exam so you must have done your post graduation or you are in your post graduation so you have gone through the core computer science subjects in your btech and your in your mtech so generally it takes four to five months to prepare for this exam just by devoting eight hours per day right seven to eight hours per day or maybe in someone can prepare in last two months by devoting more hours maybe you are smart enough and you can prepare in last two months also in that case also you can crack this exam it's not a big deal it's not like that you cannot you cannot prepare in two months you need at least four to five months it's not like that right so now very first thing is you should have a hard copy of the syllabus right first of all read out which subjects are there around i think um, around 70 around 19 subject or we can say around 20 subjects are there in net exam right around 20 i'm not saying exactly 20 subjects but as far as i remember it's around 20 subjects so you should go through those subjects the topic wise this 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 topic is there and um, many subjects you have gone through in your btech and mtech few subjects are there maybe you are not aware about second thing you have to decide the weightage of the subjects means some subjects are there from where you will get five to six questions some subjects are there from where you will get only one to two questions right so you have to focus on those subjects with higher weightage you have to prepare those subjects thoroughly you have to prepare those subject first you have to devote more time for those subjects now how you are going to analyze the weightage of subjects according to the previous year question paper right download the previous year question papers yeah i know uh, i think before uh, 2017 three papers were there but now only two papers are there paper one and paper two paper one in, is general paper that thing we will discuss about paper one everything we will discuss in next video this is about paper two and in paper two around you will have around 20 subjects so download the previous year question papers right after 17 you download the paper like uh, I, I have appeared in July 18 and I clarified the net exam in July 18. So at that time paper two, two papers were there, paper one and paper two only. I'm going to share my, uh, you know, experience and my uh, strategy also in this video. 
so download the previous year question paper analyze those papers and decide from which subjects how many questions are there like from dsa 5 to 6 question would be there from computer networks also 5 to 6 question would be there right some core computer science subjects like toc from there also 5 to 6 questions would be there in net exam i think uh, maybe i think a linear programming uh, uh, subject is there from there only you will get only one or two questions hardly so if you are doing self study you have to do it yourself first do these two points after that you start preparation it's not like that just pick up the textbook and start reading right no you have to prepare you have to plan everything and within each subject also you have to decide the topics it's not like that you have to cover the entire subject according to the syllabus those topics and from which topic the weightage of the topic also from which topic every time there would be a question that you know will be there in the net exam so you have to decide that thing also this is also very important like you have you are, you are not supposed to read the entire book right you have to decide the topics according to that you have to read and you are not supposed to go in deep of that subject because in UGC net exam, they ask, it's not like that they'll ask very tough questions, high level questions. No, the, you know, uh, some questions would be of easy level, very easy level. Some questions would be of intermediate level, medium level. So you're not supposed to go in deep of every subject, right? And this thing, how you will get, you have to analyze the previous year question paper. That is very important. Now here, one point I would say, you are not supposed to, you know, uh, cover the entire syllabus or each subject, right? If you are fighting for the first rank, obviously you have to cover each and everything, every subject, every topic. But generally, just to clarify the uh, JRF exam, assistant professor plus JRF, you are you are you don't need to complete, you don't need to study the each and every subject. Like if twenty subjects are there, just maybe 16 to 17 subjects are enough to read. So don't try to cover the entire syllabus. That is my personal tip because when I was preparing for net exam, I have covered only th I think 15 subjects, main main subjects, not the entire syllabus. And why I am saying this thing because obviously there are suppose if you go for 15 subjects, so at least three subjects you have to prepare in one month only at least three subjects right and some subjects are vast syllabus is vast and some subjects are obviously not very lengthy so you have to decide some subjects are there in which you are good right and like dsa subjects maybe you are good or you find any good material from anywhere like i have uh, uploaded many videos on dsa so that has that are also very good very helpful in preparing net and gate exam so prepare those subject first in which you have the confidence you know something about that subject and the subject having higher weightage from the subject which from where you will get five to six questions try to cover those subject first you can leave two or three subjects from which you will get only one to two questions that's not a big deal like i have covered only the main main subjects like uh, data structure algorithm graph theory computer networks operating system dbms and uh, discrete mathematics, digital electronics, microprocessor, these subjects I have prepared. I haven't read the complete textbook of the, you know, each subject, but according to the syllabus, I have covered the topics. And this is also a very important point. While you are preparing, while you, while you are studying, you have to prepare your own notes. That is going to help you very much while you revise. See, revision is also very important. You have to devote at least 20 days and if you have enough time like six months then you can uh, devote one month last one month for revision and five months for preparation if you have suppose three to four months like so in last 15 to 20 days for revision but please don't skip this thing this is also very important and your notes will be very helpful while you revise the concepts and sm small tip would be there while preparing notes what I generally uh, used to do, use two or three colored pen or marker to highlight something important, to highlight 
some formulas or some short tricks or uh, something you uh, think that it think that it's very important you have to revise that thing so that while you revise those concept then that will be you know in your focus if you will prepare your notes with only one pen like blue pen then it's hard to revise at that time because you have less time to revise you can do one thing it, if suppose any line is very important you can do what you can you know write that line within or you can that formula within this uh, rectangular or within a box to highlight that that thing or you can use a marker this thing is really going to help you in revision and next very important point is what you have to practice mock test or you can say you have to solve the previous year question paper suppose for paper 2 you have downloaded the previous year question paper or maybe you have suppose some mock test or test series of any coaching institute so what you have to do just set for 2 hours because for, for paper 2 you have to devote 2 hours right and within those 2 hours try to solve that question paper paper 2 just it's just for your rehearsal right and that is very important before sitting in the exam you must have to do this thing in this case what you will come to know your weak points how much time in two hours only how many questions you can solve because this is very important many students have this uh, in a complaint that they were you know they know how to solve that questions they have practiced very much but because of less time they were not able to solve all the hundred questions right yeah obviously it is very tough to solve hundred questions in just two hours but try to solve as many as you can right and this thing how you will come into you by practice only so this is also very important you have to practice previous year question paper right it's not like that you will not have any time limit you have to just solve the questions no just set the time limit of two hours and see within two hours how many questions you can solve this is definitely going to increase your speed the time management skills and this is definitely going to help you while solving the question paper that thing also we'll discuss in next video like how to manage the time how to attempt the questions what general mistakes students do so this is what you have to do after completing your subjects right but see when you have covered any topic from a subject after completing that topic it's better to do to practice some questions from previous year question paper right so that just reading out or just learning the topic is not sufficient at that time only you have to you know practice the questions maybe at least five questions on that topic that is definitely going to help you in last and while preparing this thing your consistency is very important consistency or you can say regularity it's not like that one day i'll study for 10 hours or 12 hours after then two or three days i'm not going to study after that i'm again going to study for 10 hours or 12 hours no devote maybe five hours eight hours a day but you should be consistent daily you have to study eight hours or five hours how many hours you decide it's up to you my suggestion would be eight hours per day so now this eight hours you can decide up to you maybe some hours four hours in evening four hours in morning or it's up to you how you are going to devote this time you can decide it yourself but at least i like, try to uh, take some gap or some rest like suppose for two hours then after 10 minutes you will take some rest or gap it's not like that continuously for eight hours you are studying you will be exhausted at that time so you have to take rest also in between plus you can also practice previous year question paper of any other exams like gate isro or d triple sb or many exams are there if you have time right because obviously the syllabus would be same and in gate they'll ask high level questions and if you are able to solve those questions then definitely you can solve net questions because the level of questions of net exam would be less than the level of the question asked in gate exam so these are some preparation tips but after this preparation one thing which is very important is how you are going to attempt the questions on your final day on your d day that is also going to play a very important role the time management during your exam that thing we will discuss in next video and about paper one also how to prepare that thing also we'll discuss in next video because paper one is also very important if you want to score high 
it's not like that you can just you just focus on the paper two and yeah paper one is very easy or paper one it's not like that it is not very important and you just leave that uh, paper one or all the topics of paper one that is also very important so that thing we will discuss in next video so now i'm going to see you in the next video till then bye take care